Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support. Hello, and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles. I am once again alone because Neon is still very, very ill. I may be heading to join him shortly, but for now I'm holding on. So I am by myself for yet another video today. Um, now we're gonna talk about Shazam and it didn't do well. And you know, you have Rachel Zegler out there trying to say people don't like fun anymore and all this other stuff because it's never, you know, it's always some other person's fault. And um, I think it's mostly because people already know they're rebooting the DC universe. So they're like, why bother? Um, I think there's a number of reasons why it didn't do that well. And we're gonna talk about that in this video. So before we go any further, please like and subscribe. Make sure you are still subscribed because you know YouTube and they do a lot of weird things where they unsubscribe you for no reason. I guess we're close to 299,000, almost to 300,000. Yay! And uh, my birthday is coming up sometime in the next like month. I'm not saying exactly when, but the next month. So if we hit 300,000, that'd be nice. You know, wink, wink. Yeah, happy birthday to me. Um, so we're gonna go on to this. The numbers are kind of in for Shazam. And it's not surprising, they're not good. But it's really, really surprising how to me that they went as low as they did. Like, I expected it to do better than this. They only are estimating it about 30.5 million um, for domestic. And that's in 4,071 theaters. Now I'm hearing they're guessing it's going to be about 65 million ish globally. I don't have that put up in front of me. I think that's what I saw earlier. Um, that's not great. Uh, they were expecting it to do like 50 some million domestic and it did like 35 or 30.5. They are saying that, um, even their mo most modest expectations of 35 million. Um, and that is part of the very low end in between birds of prey at 33 million and Suicide Squad. Birds of Prey, the what, the fantastic emancipation, whatever, emancipation of one Harley Quinn or whatever they called it, did better than Shazam did. But Suicide, the Suicide Squad didn't. But it almost, just about the same distance, I guess, towards the 26.2 is the 33. So it literally did fall right in the middle of that. But yeah, the it, only thing that did worse than Shazam 2 was the Suicide Squad. Which, you know, my husband will argue that he likes that movie. So, and they're both R rated, and this one wasn't. They're pointing out too, because that, you know, hurt them there too, because people couldn't take their kids. But this is how bad it did. It, Birds of Prey beat it, guys. That's not good. Now, I don't think, contrary to what the narrative is going to be, that it's just because people are horrible people and hate Shazam and are, they're istophobic for some reason. They hate women. That'll be the next one. They hate women. All this other stuff. I think what happened was a number of things. I think one, James Gunn has said they're rebooting the DCU. People are like, okay, well then why am I bothering to go see this movie? They might have wanted to wait to announce that till after Shazam was out. I don't know. Because now people are like, why do I want to sink more money into this when it's going to go nowhere and they're going to just end these characters? I don't know what characters are going to move forward. I don't know what characters are going to be completely replaced. We don't know that. So other than the flash, everything's off the table. You don't know what's going to be coming and what's not. It's up in the air. Um, all we know is for whatever reason, the flash film, no matter what is coming, hell or high water, we're getting that flash movie. And, you know, at this point, Ezra Miller could, you know, kick puppies and, light churches on fire and run a bus full of kids off a cliff and and whatever he just uh, say he's sorry go to more therapy and they're putting this movie through doesn't matter this movie's coming no matter what it's you know just grit your teeth and lube up because it's coming for you and we don't know who's going to be in the dc universe afterwards how many people are going to be replaced all we know is that we have a slate of some of the movies coming out that he announced we know he's going to direct and write the new superman movie Shocker there. But people aren't going to spend the time. It's kind of like when we got to the end of uh, Marvel's Phase 3, Phase 4 kind of has gone. And I think it's the reason, one of the reasons is because people don't care about the new characters. I think another reason that ties into both Marvel and, and, and DC is that people are burned out on superhero movies. 
there's just too many of them. There's superhero shows and there's movies and it's constant. And I think people just want to see new things. They don't want to see another superhero film. Even if it's, you know, Zach Levi, who I do like. And I like the first Shazam movie. I had zero interest in seeing this one, but I, I like the first one. Um, I just think a lot of people are just, are just tired. They're really tired. I think we're all tired. We all need a nap and we need to, to sleep away the superhero glut. Um, when we're going over here now, so apparently since the movie is not doing as well in the box office as they hope, which is, it didn't even do as good as Birds of Prey. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Um, Ra Ra Rachel Zegler, who is in this film. Now, she's the one that's going to play Snow White in Disney's new movie, which, you know, people, you know, they're complaining about that because they're like, why is Snow White being played by Rachel Zegler? But, you know, hey, you're not allowed to ask those questions. You're a talented person. Yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. So she's out there on Twitter now um, trying to damage control, which I don't mind the first part of what she says. She's like, you know, hey, our film is actually really good, but mostly I, I she apparently hates capitalization. Apparently, capital letters is like something that has hurt her in the past because she doesn't use them. Our film is really good, but mostly I just absolutely loved making it and the people I met whilst doing so. Go see it. Give it a chance. We have an 85% audience score for a reason. So that part isn't so bad. You know, it's like, hey, I'm up here. I like our movie. Go see it. I, the, the punctuate. The, there's a capital letters for a reason, Rachel. You don't even capitalize your name. Oh, that annoys me. Look how, like, in I am. Yo, fellow kids. Like, I don't use capitalization either. Hardcore. I just, I can't stand it. <laughs> I want to punch somebody. Um, that part isn't so bad. Okay, you know, I understand. You want, you want people to come see your movie. You're just excited about it. Um, I get it. But then we go to the second half. Without capitalization again. Some people out there... And just being senseless, I think especially saying our being, ju uh, and just being senselessly mean. I can't expect her to get that right either, you know, she can't even capitalize words. And it's unnecessary. And I know, I know, if you can't handle the heat and all that nonsense, and you're right, okay, well, she at least admits that. But our film is actually very good. It's just cool to hate on fun nowadays. That's okay. We're good. No, it's, it, that's not what it is. It's not about hating on fun nowadays. It's just people don't give a shit, Rachel. That's what it is. They, they, they think it's not worth their time because it's going to be undone anyway. And they just don't care, Rachel. It's, it's not about hating on fun. Um, I will give you the fact that you, when you look at the Rotten Tomato scores, the critic score is 53. Um, the audience score is 88%. And when I see that normally that much of a difference, I'm usually more inclined to think that's better than what the media. When you're out there saying people hate fun, it's the media who are spinning it as it's not good. Rachel, the media are the ones that gave 53%. When I mean, you're mad about people not liking fun, instead of taking it out on people on, on Twitter, you probably should take it out on the media. Because we're I'm tired of this whole narrative that if it's a vocal minority, the vocal minority hate fun, it's probably going to be later, it's going to be people, men hate women and misogyny and, and it's dudes and all this other crap. It's going to be their fault because they didn't go see the movie that's about a guy but it'll still be somehow about a, a offense to women. Um, they keep arguing this, but my, my point is if it's a vocal minority, like you keep saying, and say you had, you know, 10,000 people. Okay. You have 10,000 people and that's who, who's your audience is. And of that 10,000 people, maybe 5,000 are this vocal minority that you're claiming is out there that, that, that representative of all the, the people voting it down and the hate five, you know, there's 5,000 people out of this, you know, this group. So, or when I say 500, whatever it is, five, that small percent, okay? If you take that out of there, you still have a much larger, you have still have like 95% left, okay? Your 95% should offset that. This little 5% slice shouldn't cause that much damage to the film if, if, if it's just those people. But it's not. It's everyone. Everyone's tired of it. It's not anything personal, Rachel. They're just tired of it. I mean, for some people, it might be personal, Rachel, because, yeah, some of the things you say sometimes. Mm. But I also appreciate your being nice the first part. I also want to point out that she's, of course, going to be like, hey, hey, you know, we need to make sure this is uh, doing well because she begged for the job. She admitted um, uh, on the red carpet, apparently, 
that she told them that she needed a job. I'm being so serious. Hey, I'll give her props for honesty. The reality is we're in the middle of a pandemic and I was not working and I couldn't get a job for life me because West Side Story hadn't come out yet. And I was really, it was really hard to book work for me. Um, I don't really think West Side Story helped you much. But she admits she was begging them to let her be in this film. So of course she's going to be super stoked and wanting it to do really well because she had to beg to get her ass in there. Um, it's just, it's, this is just so typical. And if you go out to the comments, almost all the comments are like, you know, yay, queen, you're the best, you know, watch it yesterday, had fun, amazing, you tell him. I mean, I don't see any people on here, like, if there are, maybe she deleted them. I don't know, I don't see a lot of people, you know, saying a lot about uh, disagreeing with her, because I'm sure it's an echo chamber anyway. Um, I didn't see it, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you if it's good or bad, because I don't know. I've heard from people that it's not good, and I've heard from people that it is good. It's another one of those things where you have to make up your mind. I think the reason it's not doing well isn't because of some agenda or some... I think it's just because they're like, why bother? It's ending. We're ending this film. Or they just don't care. They just don't care about Shazam. It's like, there's all these superhero movies. I'm going to see one. It's not that one. I'm tired of it. Um, we have... Two over here that they're talking about, well, are we going to get more Shazam? And then I saw this one, um, according to, to Zach Levi, um, it's maybe possibly maybe moving forward because, because he talked to Peter Safran and Peter Safran is letting him think that maybe they're getting more. He said, um, listen, I've talked to Peter a good bit. We're going to talk more on this tour. Certainly I, the idea is to continue the character of this world. It's a really enjoyable extension of DCU. It has DNA that a lot of the other characters and extensions don't necessarily have because we're more of a family movie. That kind of franchise comes with a lot of fun. He said that uh, he was more like a Goonies or Indiana Jones. It's a throwback to like Goonies, Indiana Jones, all those things that book that kind of venture in you. So according to Zach, they're still talking about it. Sounds like he's trying to convince him that there could be more Shazam. So I, th I honestly think the biggest reason people aren't going Aside from the fact that most people, they, there was the advertising sucked. Most people didn't even remember it was out. I forgot it was out this weekend. I'm not going to lie. I, I think a lot of it, it has to do with the fact that they're like, well, I'm not paying attention because I know it's not going to matter. Um, if you want to be pointing fingers at people on why it's not doing well, I would, I would point back to the people in charge because they probably shouldn't have announced that, hey, it doesn't matter um, after the movie came out. But that's just me. Um, anyway. I would love to have had Neon's thoughts. I'm sure they were completely different than mine and we could have sat here and, and bantered and, and made innuendos and had a good old time, but he is really not well. So I will, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.